a lot of things. All of those things that they sought for will be added unto you. Let me say that again. All the things that the Gentiles sought after will be added to you. Say added to me. Is God a God of prosperity? Yes. Does he prosper you? Yes. Say this, God, God prospers, me prospers me when I obey him, I obey him and, do and do what he says, I am blessed, I am blessed just, like he says. just like he says. It's how God works, you know. Anyway, so uh, Matthew chapter 6. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to have fun tonight anyway. Let's pray. Holy Ghost, I worship you. I thank you that you're God in the earth today and you see every single one of us. You know where we are. You know where we're at. You're not condemning us. You are bringing us up. I ask that you open our ears that we may hear, that we may see the way to go forward into your kingdom, into your prosperity, and please you, and therefore be blessed by it. In Jesus' name, amen. That's the way it is, too. You please him, and then you're blessed. You please him, and then you're blessed. You know that, right? Yeah. Let's uh, read 33. Seek ye third. Wait a minute. I must have the new translation. The slacker translation. Seek ye what? First, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That's the good thing about the tithe is because if you have the tithe, then you know it came off where? The back? No. Came off the top. So you sought first the kingdom of God and his... But seek ye first the kingdom of God. Now, here at the Holy Ghost Society, who's God? Seek ye first the kingdom of God. We know that God in the earth. Would it be beneficial for you to know God in the earth? Yes. yes. Definitely. Right? How about financially to know God in the earth? Yes. Yes. He has a kingdom, believe it or not. Well, I don't believe it. Well, this doesn't apply to you then. But if you're a believer, you believe that the Holy Ghost has a kingdom in the earth right seek ye first meaning you put it first you don't put it second you don't put it after everything else after uh, the family after all of the other stuff there's a ton of things we could put it after believe me I know but seek ye first the kingdom of God the Holy Ghost and his righteousness meaning how to be right with him if you ever asked yourself how can I be right with God? That's you seeking the kingdom of God and how to be right with him. Well, if he says something to you, or, or thankfully we've got a whole book that's just chuck full of things of how to be right with God, right? That's his righteousness. So seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and this is where the faith comes in. If I do this, he will do that right seek ye first the kingdom of God and his way of doing things and two things whatever your choice will be added unto you you can pick two things <laughs> maybe three if you can squeak it by is that what it says no and all these things and earlier he was talking about what the Gentiles seek all the things even imagine that what do gentiles seek a lot of things all of those things that they sought for will be added unto you let me say that again all the things that the gentiles sought after will be added to you say added, added. to me right but that's the promise of the scripture but you have something to do seek you right it doesn't mean we're there yet we've got a lot to learn about the kingdom we've got a lot of you know but there must be a way God's not gonna tell you to do something that's impossible for you to do that would make him unjust mm -hmm. but it might be that you're not doing something that he's told you to do that's making it difficult on you 
unnecessarily so sound like you're preaching at me I'm a preacher seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness so saying and doing right you can understand that let's see here where are we gonna go next let's go to Matthew chapter 12 so you got it if you're seeking first the kingdom is his kingdom first yes. it's yes that was a quick answer <laughs> most people have to sit there and go well I hope so right I liked it that's the way it should be the answer should come before I even ask the question is his kingdom first well one way to know is, is to look at your finances to see whether it's first or not mm -hmm. seek ye first God won't make you do it will he has he ever forced you to put his kingdom first no of course not that's not the kind of God he is the kingdom seeking the kingdom or the kingdom that you seek and this is what I really want to establish today not all that other stuff the kingdom that you seek is by and in the Holy Ghost so if you're seeking the kingdom you're gonna seek the kingdom by and in the Holy Ghost you understand that right yeah. I just got a couple scriptures here to, to prove that point Matthew 12 verse 28 here's Jesus again said if I cast out devils by what spirit the Spirit of God who would that be Holy the Holy Ghost <laughs> if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God the Holy Ghost then the kingdom of God is come unto you so Jesus did something by the Spirit of God and therefore the kingdom has come unto them has come unto them yeah. so when you do things by the Spirit of God that's the kingdom are you getting this mm -hmm. is that too far of a stretch yeah. so the kingdom is by the Holy Ghost that's how the king they were praying thy kingdom come thy kingdom come thy kingdom come that couldn't happen until Holy Ghost you understand yeah. If I cast out devils by the Spirit of God then the kingdom of God so I do things by the Holy Ghost that's the kingdom say that when I do things, I do things by, by the, Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost that's the kingdom, that's the kingdom. now if I were to seek the kingdom what do I need to be seeking the Holy Ghost and doing things by the Holy Ghost that's me in the kingdom when I do things by the Holy Ghost I'm operating in the kingdom when I don't do things by the Holy Ghost I'm operating in some other kingdom mm -hmm. right actually when I'm obeying the word that's written by the Holy Ghost I'm operating in the kingdom mm -hmm. and when I don't I'm not operating in the kingdom is this making sense mm -hmm. so we've proven that the kingdom of God that you seek is by the Holy Ghost let's see if it's in the Holy Ghost let's go to Romans ha 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 who Romans 14 you know Jesus went around and he said he preached the kingdom right. so who was he preaching the Holy Ghost. It was Jesus's main message even though people didn't know it it was the Holy Ghost because they couldn't know it yet mm -hmm. you understand but you know it uh, what did I say Romans 14 let's look at verse 17 yes. isn't that right yes. Romans 14 verse 17 for the kingdom of God is not meat the kingdom of God is not meat and drink but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost the kingdom of God is in the Holy Ghost so if I'm in the Holy Ghost what am I in the kingdom of God the kingdom of who is God the Holy, the Holy Ghost this isn't rocket science so the kingdom of God is in the Holy Ghost so the kingdom that you seek remember seek ye who's ye ye means me say ye means me so when I seek the kingdom I'm seeking 
in and by the Holy Ghost is this good yes. yeah because he's in the earth today so the kingdom of God is in and by the Holy Ghost and uh, we will be giving our tithes and our offerings to God in the earth today that's where they belong you understand mm -hmm. we're giving them to him they are a we're act of worship to him and is it good to know that he's in the earth yes. yes because then he can take those and do his job in the earth and keep his covenant with you in the earth and make all the other good things happen yes. say this after me holy ghost, holy ghost. I give my tithe and my offering to you and I expect you to bless me and multiply my finances and my financial affairs in every area I worship you with this and I thank you for your abundant blessing that is happening right now in Jesus name Amen